Hey guys, what's up? I am Ninji, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how much of a hoarder I am. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my Hunter Cloak collection. Um, it's, it's quite ridiculous. When I, when I look at my vaults, the things that I have the most of are cloaks. I, I have an insane amount of cloaks. Sometimes I forget, like I'm like, why is my vault so full? And then, and then I go through and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's why. So yeah, I'm literally going to show you guys every single cloak that I have saved. Unless it's like a duplicate or something like that. But yeah, we're just going to be going over all the cloaks I have so you guys can see all the, all the different unique hunter cloaks there are in the game. So, right now I have my hunter full of cloaks, my warlock full of cloaks, and then there's a bunch more left in my, in my vault. So, let's go ahead and start off with one of my favorite cloaks, the Watch's Cloak. This cloak actually fits my build, that's the reason why I have it on right now. Uh, this is not actually my build, I have a bunch of random stuff on it so that I look cool, you know? Look cool. I wanna look cool. But uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite cloaks. Uh, you get this from Trials, it's a random drop while playing. There is a Watcher's class item for all three characters, so if you're a Warlock or a Titan, same concept. But uh, yeah, so this is the Watcher's Cloak, I have a perfect max roll. That's why, that's why it's so, so damn good. Alright, next up, we have uh, one of the Dead Orbit Cloaks. Again, I've saved this because it is a max roll. It's it's not a very good looking cloak. It's kind of funky looking. But, uh, yeah, some of these we're going to go pretty quickly through because uh, I have a lot of cloaks to show off. Like I said, I don't want this video to drag out too long. Alright, next we have the Cloak of the Hidden Agendas. This is a mock of a blue cloak. This was a, a blue cloak for m many, many years of this game, and they turned it purple. I think it's, I think it's okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, probably the best looking cloak in the game right here is this year's Trials of Osiris Flawless Cloak. The kitty cat, the lion's vigil cloak. It is absolutely amazing. Um, I can always change shaders, so we don't, we don't, have, to, we don't have to be rocking the same, same shader this entire time. But uh, yeah, it, it is an awesome cloak. This cloak also, if you do not know, can uh, completely change when you put the ornament on. I personally don't like the ornament. Some people really like the ornament, but I'm not I'm not a huge fan. I think it's, eh, it's just, it's just too much. But uh, yeah. All right, next up we have the Year One Trials of Osiris cloak. Also one of my favorites. Uh, this is actually the year three version of this cloak. I have a year one version somewhere in my vault, which I'll grab eventually just so you guys can see. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, super, super awesome cloak. I believe they did make it so that it changed colors now, right? It didn't used to change colors. God damn it. <laughs> Where's the shader that it'll change color? There we go. Yeah, so it does change colors now. It used to not. It used to always just stay black, so. Now it changes. Holy pink! <laughs> I'm beautiful! So yeah, all right, let's get a move on. Now we have the Queen's Cloak, another another favorite of mine, another really unique cloak in my opinion. Uh, normally it's it's purple. Here, we'll show what it normally looks like. There you go, Queen's Colors, you know, beautiful, beautiful. You get this from the Queen's Packages. Now this is a year three version, you can but obviously, there's a year one version of this. I don't actually have the year one version. I ended up deleting that a long, long time ago. So, yeah, that is the Queen's Cloak. I'm a fan. Huge fan. All right. Now we have some exotic... The three exotic cloaks. I can't equip all of these because I'd have to change factions, which is not possible. But uh, this is the Dead Orbit one. A lot of people love the Dead Orbit one. My problem with the Dead Orbit one is, so all three exotic cloaks have a respawn animation. Dead Orbit one is the one that's not very noticeable, where the other two are extremely noticeable. And I'll show you guys. I can actually demonstrate it here with one of them. So this is another uh, used to be blue cloak. They turned turned legendary. It's uh, it, it's okay. I think I was just saving this for infusion field to be completely honest. All right, we have the future war cult cloak. It's an awesome cloak. It actually matches the color scheme I'm rocking right now. It's very long. Sadly, like I said, I can't really show you all of it. And then I can put on the new Margie cloak, and then I'll show you the respawn animation. This one is one of my favorite cloaks. Uh, obviously, it doesn't change color, so you have to be rocking something that that uh, fits it, which I don't actually have any red shaders on me at the moment. That, that's not bad. That's not bad. But yeah, so I will show you the animation right now. We 
will die. And when I respawn, you will see I have like some lightning or something that shoots out of the ground. It's pretty. Damn it, I didn't even notice it. Oh well. Oh well. Anyways, like I said, I have a lot of cloaks to go through and I don't want this to take all day for you guys. So now I'm going to real quick uh, move all these cloaks to the vault and get a full new set of cloaks on me and we'll take it from there. So I'll be right back. All right, we are back with three or nine, not three, nine more cloaks. And we are wearing one of the best cloaks in the game as this little guy comes to say hi. What's up, bud? Uh, this is one of my favorite cloaks in the game. It is the potato sack, as I like to call it. Uh, some of you guys may have watched my video a long time ago of myself joking about the best looking hunter in the game while I was wearing the potato sack. I love this cloak. I think it's hilarious. It's obviously not the best looking cloak in the game. That's kind of the joke. But it's so stupid looking that I love it. This cloak can be obtained by from Eris Morn. Uh, it's just a just an Aris Morn cloak. That's all it is. But uh, yeah, it's it's so great looking. I love it. Uh, let's let's go ahead and rock a different shader real quick. I think this is her shader, so it'll actually go to its its color. Yeah, there you go. Potato sack. All right, moving on. Uh, this is the Blade Dancer cloak. Sadly, I do not have the Gunslinger and the Night Stalker cloaks. I deleted them because you can rebuy them. And I saved the Blade Dancer one because it's such a good roll. It's a 99% roll, so I can't show you the other two. But, I mean, I could go over to the speaker and show you the other two if you really need to. Uh, this cloak is hideous in my opinion. It's super short and goofy looking, but the colors are cool. I like the colors. Moving on to the Cloak of the Pariah. This is a specialty cloak from year two. This was from going to the lighthouse. You could get this from the lighthouse chest. Now I believe you can get this as a random drop from the gold tier packages. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty pretty crazy looking cloak. It looks just like the year one and two cloaks. It's just gold, like shiny gold. Uh, next up, we have a Dead Orbit cloak from year two. It's got a little radio on the back. It's all shredded. It's, it's all right looking. Moving on, we have the Spectar Cloak. I love the way this cloak looks. This is like the Arctic, like, frozen... Should be wearing this, like, when it's snowing outside cloak. Pretty awesome looking cloak. Then we have the Cloak of the Desolation. This is from the... I can't even remember what they were called at the time. Uh, these were, this was in year two. You got these from the packages, like, you got Desolation gear. I kept the cloak, did not keep the gear set for my hunter. <laughs> Now, on to the three flares cloaks. We'll start off with the solar the solar mantle, I believe is what it's called. Yep. I love these three cloaks. I literally grinded so hard to get these three in year two. You get these from killing the flares, and the last one that you kill is how you get the one that's specifically the one you want. So like now, they don't actually drop them. Now you have a chest at the end of it. So like basically, if you wanted the solar one, you would kill the other two first, then kill the solar one and open the chest. You have a chance of getting the solar one. Same with, you know, Arc. Let's save the Arc one to last. And then uh, Void. So yeah, they're all exactly the same. I love these cloaks, though. I think they're absolutely amazing looking. And then the last cloak I have on me is the Cloak of Snows. You get this cloak from the packages right now. Like the ones from... Um, when you do, like, the weekly Crucible, I believe, and the weekly... Night, uh, not Nightfall, sorry, the Heroic Strikes. You get those packages, you have a chance of getting this cloak. Sadly, it doesn't show uh, what it has. Like, it doesn't show how much discipline and strength it has, but it does give it to you. It's like a glitch. It's actually, like, actually a good-looking cloak with this set of armor I'm wearing right now, with this shader, I mean. Like, it looks, looks pretty solid. But, uh, yeah, anyways, that is that set of nine. Uh, let me um, grab another nine cloaks and I will be right back again all right we are back wearing the SRL cloak which is a very boring cloak sadly but hey let me change my shader real quick one more time just like to look a little bit different every time we're checking out the cloaks but uh, yeah this is the SRL cloak like I said it's pretty boring it doesn't really have much there's little two racing stripes on the back that's about it moving on we have we already looked at that one Whoops. <laughs> forgot, to, forgot to move this one, apparently. 
Alright, anyways, we have another Dead Orbit cloak. This was a year one cloak that they brought back. It is awesome, it's a scarf. I love this cloak, love this cloak. I also have a max roll, so that's why we're keeping this forever, forever. Uh, next up we have the Iron Saga cloak. This is from Iron Banner. It's a pretty sweet looking cloak. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of it. Oh, we've got the giant wolf on the back of it. It's also huge. I love the big cloaks. So, uh, yeah. Next up, we have the raid cloak. This is the normal raid cloak. Some people hate this cloak. I actually like it. I think it's a pretty sweet looking cloak. Yeah, I also have the hard mode raid cloak right here. The only difference is it can have, um, what's it, what's it called? Yeah, ornament on it, which apparently I don't even have, which is weird. Let me put that on real quick. Ah, uh, if it's on, I honestly can't even tell. <laughs> I think it like lights up red a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, that's the hard mode cloak. It's just a different color. Next up, we have the Warden Hood. This was, this is a... Uh, I believe this is from Challenge of Elders. It's an awesome looking cloak. I honestly forgot I had this cloak, to be honest. This is a beautiful looking cloak, one of my favorites. I used to rock this for a really long time. Uh, next up, we have last year's Iron Banner cloak, which was the wolf. Super awesome cloak, the fact that the, literally the top of it is a wolf. Super, 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 super cool. Now, on to the year, the original Iron Banner cloak for the Hunter. This is the year three version of it. This is literally what I rocked all of year one. All of year one. Uh, one of my all time favorite cloaks. So good that I actually kept it, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Uh, and then the last cloak out of all of these is the Days of Iron cloak, which can change. You can put the ornament on it and then it lights up fire, or you can take it off and it goes back to normal, which I will show you guys real quick. Just just for funsies. So yeah, so then it looks it just looks like the other one, the other Iron Banner cloak, but with uh, the uh, Days of Iron, or the Iron Lord's thing on it instead of the uh, wolf. But uh, yeah, really cool cloak. Really, really cool cloak. Big fan of this cloak. Technically, I should get rid of it, re-roll it, like, so that I can get a, a perfect roll on it, but I don't really care. It's a, it's a really cool looking cloak, though. But, uh, yeah, that is that set of cloaks. I have one more exchange to do, and these will be my last set of cloaks. So, uh, bear with me, and I'll be right back. Alright, we are back with some more cloaks. These are all of the year one cloaks I have. Um... Now, with the first one, this is the Crota Cloak from doing the raid. You can still get this. It's very, very easy. Just come, uh, just do the Crota Raid. You actually, this drops from Iriute, which is the Witch, right before Crota. You have a, it's a pretty small chance, to be honest. It's not a, not a huge drop rate. Like, the, the drop rate on it's pretty low, so, um, uh, but, I uh, I recommend trying to get it. I love this cloak, especially when playing Hide and Seek. Uh, it is awesome to put a green shader on and rock this in a bush. <laughs> so yeah, this is called the Shroud of Flies. Amazing cloak. Next up, we have the Shattered Vault Cloak, which is actually from Vault of Glass. Same thing, Vault of Glass raid, you get this from the Gorgon's Maze Exotic Chest. Again, not a huge drop rate. It has a pretty, pretty low drop rate, but it's another amazing cloak worth getting. If you want some old to school year one cloaks. Like I said before, I do still have my year one cloak of the exile. This is legit the original version, that's why it's only 30 defense. I didn't know they were bringing this back. Same with the other cloaks I have. We also have the Mantle of Galeon, like I said, the year one original Iron Banner cloak. Such a beautiful cloak. Look at this cloak. I love this cloak. One of my all time favorites. And then we have the second, second Iron Banner cloak, which is absolutely hideous. I hated this cloak, but I kept it just because I knew it would be rare. I, I believe you can also get this cloak again from, uh, from, what are those, Dusty Engrams or whatever they're called, from, from old, uh, old Salad Face at, uh, at the temple. 
And then last but not least, I actually have the original makeshift scarf. Now, funny story about this cloak. So this cloak is what you start off with as a hunter. Funny story. I deleted this cloak originally on my hunter after making my hunter. I, I actually deleted this cloak. But I wanted it so bad that in year one, in year one I actually used to delete my, my second two characters quite frequently. Because in year one, things were very, very different. Uh, the best way to get the highest light was doing raids. So a lot of us would make multiple characters to like get gear and stuff like that. Or delete a character so that you could run the raid again and have a chance of getting an exotic, stuff like that. So I used to delete my Titan every single week, sometimes even my Warlock. So that I could have another chance at a Galahorn and stuff like that, because I, I literally didn't get a Galahorn forever. So one of the times I actually deleted my Titan and made another Hunter just for this cloak. <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was good times. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, that is actually it. Those are all of my cloaks. That is... I don't know how many there was. There was a lot. I think it was like 30. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that is not all the cloaks in the game. I'm missing tons and tons of cloaks. But I just wanted to really show you guys my cloak collection. Because I have a lot of them in there. They're pretty fun. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any awesome, sweet, rare cloaks that you would love to show me, let me know about them. Maybe, maybe even, uh... Maybe even I could get on your account and show, show my community, our community, some interesting, some interesting cloaks or stuff like that. But uh, yeah, anyways guys... I hopefully, hope, not hopefully, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment if you have any questions at all. And as always, hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day, and I will talk to you guys later.